Hi Taurus, I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks like you have been making headway, connecting with either someone or yourself. So you're connecting either way. To something even. It doesn't have to be a person. But yeah, it can be yourself and also something that you're participating in. Like a craft even. I'm getting art for some. Art healing, self-reflection. Maybe a connection also didn't go the way that you wanted to, or how you hoped it would initially. Maybe this is also, it's almost like, I'm, I'm seeing kind of a domino effect. Maybe something didn't go the way that you had wanted it to, or like it didn't meet your expectations even, or you felt disappointed by this, but it actually opened the door for you to get like more connected with someone or with yourself. So it actually led to you feeling more connected with something. Divine unfolding, it feels like. We're starting off with the Knight of Wands. I always feel a little bit of a giggle come up when I see the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is here to have fun. And nobody's going to tell them otherwise. Except it seems like someone's having a stern conversation about this. Maybe you don't like the way that somebody was acting. This can be somebody that comes through and it's like they pop in and then they pop out and then they pop back in. But it seems like a conversation is being had about this. This can also always be an aspect of yourself. It's like you get really motivated and in the mode to do something... And then you're working on it, working on it, and then all of a sudden it's like the motivation is gone and you just can't even stand to look at that thing you were working at, working on. Hmm. Maybe this is about getting more strict with yourself about something. I don't know. I'm almost getting a burnout energy here. It's like you do something because like impulsively you feel drawn or inspired to do it. And then all of a sudden it kind of fades away and you may go into like a lower even like depressive episode. Maybe you just feel um, not super inspired. But yeah, this could always be someone coming in and out of your life, too. Or you doing that. It's like, sometimes you want to be there, sometimes you don't want to be there. Yeah, I'm seeing a conversation being had. I don't know which end of this you're on. Like, if this is you with yourself or you with another person. I'm seeing a conversation being had about, like, about values and, and morals and, I don't know, like, expectations even. It's like I'm some I'm seeing somebody get really serious about the way that somebody's been acting. Again, whether this is a conversation you're having with yourself or with someone else or someone's having this conversation with you. It's like I'm seeing the the King of Swords is like we need to talk about this. Like this is what I expect from you. Especially because this energy may be disruptive or inconsistent and the King of Swords wants to talk about it. He wants to figure out what's going on here. Where everybody stands with one another. Like, where this is becoming... Where this is coming from. Is this normal? Is this abnormal? Is this how you always are? Is this how you are sometimes? Yeah, I, I feel like this is for... Not for the sake of pushing an agenda, but more so for the sake of understanding something. It looks like... Because it seems like everybody here, all parties participating, are 
searching for their own slice of happiness. And so this is about everybody being on the same page is what I'm seeing. I feel like somebody's stopping themselves from expressing themselves. There's a sense of fear or resistance. Maybe someone doesn't want to be judged. Someone's like um, not being... I'm not seeing this happen because sometimes we see the Seven of Swords pop up and it's like somebody's deliberately trying to be um, like kind of sneaky or deceptive. That's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing someone that is not accepting of themselves and so there's something going on here where they feel anxiety when it comes to like actually expressing themselves authentically. Maybe it's also about acceptance too. I'm not seeing them do this. I'm not seeing this person, whoever this is, do it in a way where they have any like ulterior motive or agenda. This is something between themselves and themselves and feeling uncomfortable expressing themselves. Like this is this is somebody that it's almost like you know when you meet somebody you're around someone and you can tell that they're almost like uncomfortable in their skin because there's a sense of them like not not fully completely like realizing themselves yet or like it's almost like you see someone and you recognize still that they're in development and that they're not like completely comfortable like within their skin. This is the type of vibe that I'm getting from someone. So it's like their core is in there and it wants to peek out, but there's a sense of them like being held back by like fears and anxieties, maybe something going on with mental health too. So something is kind of like hidden, but not for the sake of hiding. It, there's something else going on there. So it's like you can pick up that like something isn't right, but it's not because anyone has like malicious intent. This is what I'm seeing here. Ooh, so we're getting into psychoanalyzing people now, Taurus. I mean, this can always be you with yourself too. You could be recognizing that about an aspect of yourself that you want to express, but you're holding yourself back from... Um, I'm getting something about, like, there's a fear of not being accepted. But maybe this is also something that's recognized, being recognized because it's also being worked through right now. I'm seeing a relationship that's being worked on. Someone's investing in a relationship. This is something serious. Like, I'm, I'm seeing somebody down to do the work and do everything necessary to make something work. I'm seeing two people here. And then I'm seeing fighting. It's an argument. It's about values and expectations. Can even be about work for some finances. Yeah. Role, role expectations. It's like I'm, I'm seeing someone almost recognize themselves and be like, be like, this is my true self. This is who I want to be. The King of Pentacles is like um, somebody that provides for themselves financially, somebody consistent, somebody who shows up when they say they're going to show up. Some, excuse me, I guess that's a big one. Um, Somebody who shows up when they say they're going to show up. Somebody that is true to their word. When they make a commitment, they follow through with it. Um, reliable. Somebody that you call up and you know is going to answer the phone. Or you need somewhere to stay and they're like, hey, come over, stay with me. Like, one of those types of vibes. It's like a provider type of energy. And a very independent energy. This is someone who's, like, good on the financial end. Like, they have things squared away. I'm seeing somebody like almost realize that like this is part of their identity and who they want to be, what they're associating with. Um, 
but then something's kind of holding them back from this. It's almost that notion of like realizing that there's an aspect of you that you want to step into or something that you want to grow into, but for some reason there's some type of hindrance from you getting there or going there or becoming that. Maybe too, this is not something automatic that can happen. This is something that needs to be built upon. And that may also be like a little bit daunting as well. Because you can't just like snap into that energy. This is something that needs to be worked on. Especially with the pentacle suit. This is something that takes time to develop. My watchdog is running around the house, so if you if you hear um, noises, it's oh, oh, it's my cat. <laughs> All right, yeah, it seems like you're overthinking something, and you're being guided not to let yourself fall into that. It feels kind of like a trap. Like you know, something may set you off, or that you get kind of in this zone where it's like you go around and around and around, and you kind of can't get out of your head. And you're being guided to kind of like step back out of that to see behind it and remove yourself from it. This is about to like witnessing emotionally what's going on for you and like what your thoughts are, and knowing that you're also behind that. Like you're not just you are not your thoughts. You are observing the thoughts Okay, so I don't know if this is your energy or this is somebody that you're involved with, but I'm seeing I'm seeing a relationship that you have with someone and there's a sense of like somebody is not Okay. When you see the 4 of wands, this can be a marriage or relationship, something where there's some type of commitment to this. You would think that everybody's on the same page where it's like the shared goal is to have a connection in a relationship and to be vulnerable and like mutual reception, receptivity, like those sorts of things. It's like a place for everyone to be safe and vulnerable. Like that's the hope of it, to share your dreams and other things like that. However, I'm seeing somebody that actually is in the connection that's unwilling to get vulnerable. And the way that they may play that out is by flirting or involving themselves with other people I'm seeing that more so be like a cover because they're actually really struggling internally with getting vulnerable I'm getting something about trust issues here um I'm seeing also somebody that's working on getting more comfortable confronting things that need to be confronted I'm seeing this be your energy here with the Hierophant down below. It seems also like the voice of your inner authority and you getting comfortable expressing that when it comes to your expectations, conversations you need to be having. I feel like you're being more present to yourself as well. What your needs are, what your expectations are, what your values are, how you want to be treated within a connection, what you're expecting. What feels empowering to you? What doesn't feel empowering? You may also call somebody out as well. And this may be something that kind of was a long time coming. This can always be you with you. You could have not wanting, wanted to get vulnerable with someone and you may have like cheated or flirted with other people or this could have been someone you were with because someone was scared of getting vulnerable and committing to that. It's like this is an energy of someone that does not yet see the value of like being a team player and has not yet like understood no man is an island. That's what the five of swords is. 
It's someone that still thinks that they are an island. Okay, so what else is going on here? So there's a question about values, about how you want to be treated, about what feels right to you, how you want somebody to show up for you, how you're willing to show up for someone, what feels empowering to you, what feels disempowering. There's a sense of feeling conflicted about this, maybe because you already know what your standards are, but they're not present in a connection that you have, and that's also hard to admit to, maybe. Because I'm seeing a lot of chaos and confusion and emotional tension, but I don't think it's because you're not clear on what you want. I think that the situation may not be matching what it is that you want, and that's also a hard pill to swallow, if we're being completely frank. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, Taurus. Bet that. You already know. You already know. I feel like you're having a moment where you are getting so clear on what you want for yourself and also maybe someone else that you're involved with. You're looking for a balanced type of energy. I see this as being reflective. It's like you want this for yourself and you also may be seeking this outside of yourself. Reliability consistency on the financial front as well somebody i'm hearing candor candor balance someone that is true to their word someone emotionally balanced somebody intelligent somebody that has pretty much a fine line of like what is right and what is wrong and is fair about that when they bring that together somebody that like exemplifies that type of energy i'm seeing libra energy here with the Justice card next to you, Taurus. I'm also seeing the sun here. So I'm getting like the advice from your guides is avoid being in this place and when you can't avoid it, be aware when you're in this place. So it's like as soon as you feel caught up, as soon as you feel trapped in something, as soon as you start overthinking, as soon as you're recognizing that maybe like your mental health is like decomping a little bit, this is about you recognizing that and doing something about it. It's not just about sitting in here and drowning, metaphorically speaking. This is about you taking action when you feel like you can't take action. So it's also difficult to do in this place, easier said than done, but it's something to be aware of because this is a self-imposed place. This is like a learned helplessness sometimes type of vibe. And this is about you catching yourself in that and being like, I don't have to sit in that. And this is what you're being guided specifically not to do so this is like anything that you can participate in or not participate in anything that you do or don't do that puts you into this place don't do it it's about like avoiding this at all costs for the sake of your emotional and mental health so it's like anything that that gets you in that like weird foggy feeling restless and hopeless type of situation don't be doing that this is also i guess about self-awareness too about what puts you in that place sometimes we can't avoid it but this is about those times when you can those times when you can do something about it because it seems like something may be a little bit out of balance Yeah, I I feel like you're recognizing that there's there's something big. This feels like a very big choice that you're making to walk away from something. 
but in order for you to do this, and this is something that at first glance, when you have this conversation with yourself, you're like, oh no, I can't change my situation. I can't do anything about this. I don't know where I would even begin to, to do that or take care of that. At first glance, it's going to feel like that. And then there's a moment of recognition where you're like, I actually do have a choice and I don't have to stick around for this and I can actually move away. And this is all about your empowerment, but it's about you deciding to empower yourself and take action and do something about it and know that you are the only one responsible for getting yourself out of a situation or moving somewhere. So this is like, what happens here is all up to you and that can feel very scary too because I'm seeing it can feel scary, intimidating, overwhelming, especially when we're not accustomed to doing that because I'm seeing you wearing a lot of different hats here and it may be a lot of different things energetically than you are familiar with or used to doing for yourself. But something's got to give here. And this is all about you stepping up and taking control and you taking action, ultimately. And knowing that you are responsible. So finding the things that motivate you and allow you to empower yourself enough to make the changes that are necessary for you. All right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. Um, to go over the signs again, I'm looking at the sun, which represents Leo. I'm looking at you, Taurus, and I'm looking at Libra. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.